Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do my favorite diptyque candles at the moment. I know you guys have been really asking for more diptyque videos, and there is a um, video that you guys want me to make of every single diptyque candle and an in-depth in review of each one. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. And so I've been planning it and really thinking... And I've also been really into reading people's blogs lately, and I know that sounds sounds crazy. Why is this eyebrow like up like that? It's gonna bother me. Okay, so anyway, pardon the eyebrow, but I was like, these are really, really interesting. How come I don't have a blog? Well, how come I don't have a blog? Well, was a bad drum roll. Introducing DrewYonk.com. Yes, very clever, I know. But I'm going to pull it up, DrewYonk.com, for you guys so you can see. So it went through, I went through a lot to think about what I want my blog to be. And it's going to be a fragrance and skincare blog. It might be lifestyle, some things, but most of it is going to be the, you know, the blog. It's going to be stuff about my videos, stuff about my favorite products, and I wanted to think of a clever name, and I just couldn't, so Drew Yawk is the name of my blog. Pretty simple, it is Drew Yawk's skincare and fragrance blog. Nothing too crazy, and I wanted to write my first post to introduce myself to people and stuff like that, and I know blogs, people really don't like blogs anymore, but I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it is. People said, there's so many blogs, Drew, you just won't be successful. Well, I want it to be successful. I know I have awesome subscribers, and I want you guys to help make it successful. Read it, share it, do everything with my blog. I really, really want... I've been putting my heart and soul into it for the past week, and I've been really, really into it. So, the first post on my blog, I figured I introduce every video with, hey guys, it's me, Drew. So, here is my blog really it is hey guys it's me drew is my first blog and then some info about it there's currently two posts about it um there's this one and then there is a skincare review on i'm going to be doing a series on my blog called my ride or die products of 2016 because obviously i can't do it of 2017 yet and the first product is a cleanser that i've been loving and if you read my thing you should know but I will link my blog down below please read it please comment on it just I don't want to be like please read my blog but I've been working really hard on it it's like my baby I um I mean my YouTube's like my baby too but I really just want to focus on that and I mean I want my YouTube too but I really want to really want to sit down and write a lot of really really fun things on candles and perfumes and fragrance and skincare and makeup and all my favorite things and I really hope that you guys will um, help me out on that and I, that is where I'm going to be posting all of my diptyque reviews in-depth reviews in-depth high-def pictures I just ordered the rest of the ones that I've already burned I ordered like 20 candles online so they will be here soon so that way I have awesome things for the blog but let's get into my favorite dip tea candles at the moment. I feel like I need to start with the classic. This candle I will never be sick of, and it is Bay. As you can see, I've burned quite a bit of it. I have not trimmed the wick. Bay is black currently, leaves, Bulgarian rose petals. It is just awesome. It is a home scent. People try to duplicate it, and they just can't. I hate to break it to them, they just can't. This is an awesome candle. It's bright, it's floral, but it has that sweetness to it and a little bit of green that you can burn this fall, winter, spring, summer. It does not matter. You can burn bay and you'll love it. I guarantee it. The next one is Chen. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know I say Chen is a luxury Home Depot, like a bougie Home Depot because that's what it smells like. It smells like the finest wood that you can get. It's the weirdest, weirdest thing, but that's what it smells like to me. It literally just smells like the finest wood. Mm, I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. Then we have 
figi, figuier, fig. I just call it fig tree because that's what it's called in English. Now, this is a brand new one I've been burning. I went through two or three of these guys. I really like it. It is sweet figs, but it also has that greenness, which is really, really odd. It's hard to explain, but I really, really, really love this candle. I've been burning the Big Daddy size in my living room on top of my mantle for a while now, and I've been loving it. I've only burned it like four times, and look, it's like barely gone down, and it smells so good. It is just like the best, best scent. It's I only like to burn this really in the spring, but I couldn't stop. I had to burn it. It just is phenomenal. Another one that's really good is Food of Bois. This is Wood Fire. I hated this candle at first. Whenever I first got into Diptyque, like one or two years ago, I was like, oh, this is nasty. And then I'm like, this is good. I'm digging it. And I my friend got it for me in the standard glass. Went through it. I'm working on this, and I have the Big Daddy size as well on the opposite side of my mantle. And these two together, Fig and Fou de Bois, sounds kind of strange, is very good. Um, I'm also probably going to be posting on the blog. On the blog, that's weird for me to say. On the blog, um, my favorite dip tea combinations too, because let me tell you, there are many that I love. But this one is awesome. It smells just like a fresh fire. A fresh fire. One specialty diptyque is the Le Madeleine, Le Madeleine candle. It is a lemon butter cookie, and I always say Yankee Candle, Bath and Butter, sweet bakery scents are like coying. They're sickening. They're disgusting. They're too strong. They're just not good. This smells like you just walked into a patisserie that makes cookies in France. It's not overpowering. It's just purely beautiful. Mm, I love it. I love it so much. And then last but not least, my all-time favorite dip tea candle, Ben Juan. I love it. It smells like sweet with caramel, vanilla, a little bit of spice. It's just my favorite candle of all time. Mm, I love it so much. But, so as a quick little video, I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite dip tea candles and introduce you to the blog. And if you watch this YouTube video and you head over to the blog, definitely leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. I really, really would. I'm super excited. And please share with your friends. Let's try to get my blog going. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. I love you with all my heart. Have a great day.